China is building the world's most powerful wind tunnel to simulate hypersonic travel as fast as 12 kilometers per second. Amidst the intense and fiercely competitive landscape of the hypersonic sector, one nation stands out as an unparalleled leader, making remarkable strides that leave its rivals in awe. This visionary nation has emerged as the undisputed leader, stretching the boundaries of what was once deemed possible and leaving the competition trailing far behind in its wake. Only recently, China has revealed something massive that has shocked the world once again, a facility which has broken all records, so much so that its like has never been seen by the world before. This mysterious facility possesses an extraordinary capability, the power to navigate through extreme flight conditions at an astonishing Mach 30. Today's episode will cover world's fastest wind tunnel unveiled recently in China. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. China has achieved a significant milestone in aerospace technology with the successful completion of the JF-22 wind tunnel. After passing its final evaluation on May 30th, the wind tunnel is now ready for hypersonic tests. Located in the mountainous Huairu district north of Beijing, the JF-22 is reputedly the fastest wind tunnel in the world and can effectively simulate the re-entry environment of spacecraft into the Earth's atmosphere. The project is managed by the National Natural Science Foundation of China under the Ministry of Science and Technology. Recently, a meeting was held at the Chinese Academy of Science Institute of Mechanics in Beijing, during which scientists confirmed that the JF-22 wind tunnel had met international standards for key performance indicators including effective, test time, temperature, pressure, nozzle flow. The large machine that Zhang Su Yin and his team are installing and testing is the JF-22, the most advanced ultra-high-speed or so-called hypersonic speed wind tunnel in the world. This achievement marks a significant step forward in China's efforts to develop a space-to-Earth shuttle system. If successful, the facility could also substantially reduce the cost of launching satellites and spacecraft, potentially by up to 90 percent. The construction of the JF-22 began in 2018 and was completed in August of 2021, with state media reporting a length of 157 meters and a diameter of 4 meters. The wind tunnel's impressive airflow range spans from 3 to 10 kilometers per second. This exceptional capability allows the JF-22 to simulate hypersonic flight conditions up to Mach 30, which corresponds to 30 times the speed of sound. The large machine that Zhang Su Yin and his team are installing and testing is the JF-22, the most advanced ultra-high-speed or so-called hypersonic speed wind tunnel in the world. Researchers, including CAS researcher Han Guilai, have highlighted the JF-22's potential to significantly advance China's hypersonic capabilities. In comparison to the United States' Lens 2 wind tunnel, which reaches Mach 7 with a runtime of 30 milliseconds, seconds, the JF-22 can sustain hypersonic flight conditions up to Mach 30 for an average of 130 milliseconds. Furthermore, when combined with China's existing JF-12 wind tunnel, which can simulate flights up to Mach 7, the JF-22 positions China approximately two to three decades ahead of the West in hypersonic research. Despite the JF-22's achievements, some experts argue that its Mach 30 speeds are only relevant to extraterrestrial return missions and not necessarily applicable to military applications. Additionally, concerns have been raised about the use of detonation-driven shock tunnels, which may alter air chemistry and affect the representativeness of aero conditions for actual flight. The development of hypersonic technology has been a competitive field, with various countries, including the U.S., investing in research and development. Due to a lack of hypersonic wind tunnels, the U.S. Department of Defense's Defense Innovation Unit, or DIU, has considered gathering data directly from flight tests rather than conducting wind tunnel tests. However, some experts emphasize the importance of wind tunnels for accurately simulating hypersonic environments, as digital simulation with computational fluid dynamics software may not fully capture real-world conditions. In contrast to the U.S., China's investment in wind tunnels is seen as a priority due to a perceived lack of its own CFD software. Chinese officials reportedly prioritize tangible hardware investments, leading to their focus on wind tunnel technology. Nonetheless, opinions vary on the effectiveness of digital simulation in hypersonic testing, with some experts expressing skepticism about its efficacy compared to traditional wind tunnels. The successful development of the JF-22 wind tunnel marks a significant advancement in China's hypersonic research and aerospace capabilities. 
capabilities. The facility's ability to simulate hypersonic flight conditions at Mach 30 positions China ahead in the global competition for hypersonic technology. As the JF-22 is expected to accelerate the development of space-to-Earth shuttle systems and potentially revolutionize satellite and spacecraft launches, its successful operation represents a notable achievement for China's aerospace industry. However, the effectiveness of digital simulation versus traditional wind tunnels remains a subject of debate, with experts holding varying views on the best approach to hypersonic testing. The JF-22 wind tunnel is an engineering marvel. With a diameter of 4 meters, 13 feet, and the ability to generate airflow speeds of up to 10 kilometers per second, or 6.2 miles per second, its incredible speed allows it to simulate extreme flight conditions at Mach 30, which is 30 times the speed of sound. This makes it the largest and fastest wind tunnel in the world, surpassing any existing facility. One of the primary objectives of the JF-22 is to support China's research and development in the fields of space transport and high hypersonic aircraft. The Chinese government aims to achieve significant milestones by 2035, including deploying a fleet of hypersonic aircraft capable of carrying passengers into space or reaching any location on Earth within an hour. According to the Washington Post, one Pentagon assessment shows Beijing is about to unveil a high-tech spy drone unit that would give its surveillance program potentially a significant boot. To achieve these ambitious goals, researchers need to overcome significant challenges related to the extreme heat and pressure experienced during hypersonic flight, while ensuring stable trajectories and safe environments for passengers fix associated with hypersonic flight, particularly regarding molecular dissociation. At hypersonic speeds, air molecules around the aircraft become highly compressed and heated, causing them to break apart into constituent atoms that can react and form new chemicals. Understanding these phenomena is crucial for the development of hypersonic aircraft and vehicles. Wind tunnel testing provides a controlled laboratory environment where researchers can analyze how hypersonic vehicles interact with their surroundings leading to the development of new technologies that enhance performance and safety. The innovative aspect of the JF-22 lies in its propulsion system, called the Reflected Direct Shock Wave Driver, conceived by Professor Zhang Zong Lin, the lead scientist behind the project. Unlike traditional hypersonic wind tunnels that rely on the expansion process to generate high-speed airflow, Zhang's solution utilizes a series of precisely timed explosions to create shock waves that converge at a single point. This approach enables rapid and intense bursts of energy, driving the airflow in the wind tunnel at the required extremely high speeds for accurate hypersonic testing. While using explosives as an energy source has drawbacks like safety concerns, noise, and air pollution, it is crucial for achieving the necessary intensity in the wind tunnel. To validate the success of the JF-22, a team of 16 independent experts hired by the National Nature Science Foundation of China conducted a thorough evaluation of the wind tunnel. The results were exceptional, leading to the classification of the JF-22 as world-leading in terms of performance. Furthermore, when combined with the existing JF-12 wind tunnel, which simulates flight conditions up to Mach 9, the two facilities create a comprehensive experimental platform covering all flight corridors for near-space vehicles. The combination of the JF-12 and JF-22 allows researchers to study a wide range of flight conditions, materials, and designs, providing valuable data to enhance the performance and reliability of hypersonic weapons and aircraft. The successful development and operation of the JF-22 wind tunnel could give China a significant advantage in the field of hypersonic technology. By exploring the possibilities of hypersonic flight, China seeks to revolutionize not only its military capabilities, but also civilian air travel. The potential to transport passengers into space or reach any destination on Earth within an hour would undoubtedly transform the aerospace industry. However, it is worth noting that such advancements raise concerns in the international community, especially among China's competitors. The United States, for instance, has also been investing heavily in hypersonic research, with the Mach 10 tunnel at NASA's Langley Research Center being one of its primary hypersonic hypersonic test facilities. The race for hypersonic technology has gained attention, with countries closely monitoring each other's progress to maintain their strategic positions. In conclusion, the completion of the JF-22 wind tunnel represents a major leap forward for China's hypersonic ambitions. The facility is able to simulate extreme flight conditions at Mach 30, and the innovative reflected direct shockwave driver propulsion system positioned China at the forefront of the hypersonic research and development. As the JF-22 plays a pivotal role in a advancing China's hypersonic weapons program and passenger air travel objectives, 
it also raises strategic implications on the global stage. As China continues to push the boundaries of aerospace technology, the world watches closely to see how this remarkable achievement will shape the future of hypersonic flight and its broader impact on international relations. With much about the world's fastest wind tunnel unveiled recently in China covered, it is time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space, and we will see you in the next one.